Hello everyone, my name is Orbando and today we are going to show you how to use Volume's Anti-Fraud Kit to detect and block your bot traffic in your campaigns. So let's go over the features here on Volume's website and you can see there is this feature called uh, Anti-Fraud Kit which you can use to detect bot, bot traffic and take action um, by blocking the, the traffic and protecting you from fraud. This means you're going to be able to spend less money testing campaigns and saving more money to increase your ROIs. Implementing the anti-fraud kit in volume is very simple. First, you need to make sure you use a landing page. Without a landing page and direct linking, you will have less options. To implement the landing page and use the anti-fraud kit, you need to go to settings and then go to anti-fraud kit here. Here you will have a honeypot, which is little code or JavaScript code that you can implement in your landing page to help you detect all the bot traffic and fake traffic. For this to work, you need to make sure that the domain you're using for your tracking URLs and click URLs is the same as the one selected here. And once you select this, you just need to copy the following code. Now you can go and copy and paste it right after the body tag in your landing page. When you do this, you will be able to check all this information, including that data centers, clicks from fast clickers, which usually click under one second, uh, unrecognized devices, invisible link clicks, library robots, etc. For this video, we are going to test a campaign in PopCash. This is a campaign that we are going to run in Argentina, and it's an extension CPS offer, which means we are going to run traffic from desktop window devices and using Chrome browser. So as you can see here in the paths, we already received almost 100,000 visits in this campaign. And here, Volume is reporting that we have around 5% suspicious clicks, which are bots. So we can confirm here that most of these clicks are invisible link clicks, which means uh, the bot is clicking a link that is invisible and hidden in the landing page, which is wouldn't be able to be clicked by a real human, so we want to avoid that. Now let me show you the stats over the days. So you can see we have around 5% to up to 12% bot traffic depending on the day. And we want to definitely avoid that. So we're going to go over all the variables here to detect which websites are sending us bot traffic and then block it. And then hopefully in a few days, we can get gather more data and see how we can reduce this and stop paying for this fake traffic. To identify which websites are sending us fake traffic, we need to click the variables and filter our stats by site ID. Here, we need to filter now our columns by suspicious clicks. And then we will be able to find all of the websites that are sending us fake traffic, either bot traffic or traffic from, from data centers or spy tools that we don't want to, to be paying for in our campaign. So as you can see, there are at least like 40 or 50 websites that are already sending us suspicious clicks here from the campaign and the rest are clean. So what we are going to do is we are going to block those websites and some of them have only one click and that click has a unique visit and then it's, it's a suspicious visit. But some of them have many clicks like this one with 76 visits, but only 10 clicks. And from all those 10 clicks, only 50% of them are bot traffic, which is still a high number in, in my opinion. So we're going to go over PopCash and block all of those site IDs. And after a few days, we'll see how our stats look after deleting all this bot traffic. We are back in volume. And one thing I wanted to mention here is the new markers feature that was released a few months ago. Uh, with this feature, you can just go ahead and select multiple website, website IDs, or in this case, you can use any of the custom parameters that you're using in your campaign and just select them like this and mark, and mark them uh, with any marker that you want to use, which in this case I use, I selected this one since we are blocking the website from PropCash. But if you have another good website like this, let's say, let's just unmark this one. Let's clear this one. And if this uh, site ID is making you some good money, you can also maybe select this one or this one. Or 
or if you have a website ID that it's barely breaking even and you don't know if you can uh, make it profitable or not, maybe you can choose this one and just have a look at it later. So basically you can use this one uh, for logging websites and here it will be much easier to check out your stats and knowing uh, which websites are already blocked from your campaign without going to podcast dashboard. So this uh, feature is very, very useful for me uh, to manage my campaigns. So go ahead and use it if you haven't and let me know what, what you think about it. If you don't want to manually block every website ID, you can just export them all from volume and block them all at once in your traffic search. To do this, you can filter your website IDs by suspicious clicks or just by markers like we did and just select all of the websites that you want to block your traffic source. Let's say we want to block all of those which are at least 20 or 30 websites. Now what you need to do is go to the export button, click download CSV and here you can choose all the columns you want to export in the CSV document. In this case, we are just going to select site ID because that's the one uh, document that we want to copy and paste in the traffic source. Click download and you will have a document that you can just copy and paste to block all of the website IDs at once. This is, method is much more efficient than doing it one by one. All right, so a few days have passed already since the last update and we pretty much just went to podcast which is where we are running this campaign and block all the website IDs that are sending us fake traffic according to our anti-fraud kit in volume. So as you can see, I just went ahead and just click here to, to pause these website IDs. And we have some that send tons of impressions like these ones and some of them also just send like one or two impressions, like a, a lot of these. So in the beginning, the list was not that huge, maybe 20 or 30 website IDs. But now, after running this campaign for a few extra days, we basically blocked like 60 or maybe 70 website IDs, as you can see here. And uh, now that we have done this, we can go back to volume and check our stats and see if we have reduced our suspicious clicks and bot traffic. Finally, it's time to check our results. This was the day we started the campaign. And as you can see, we had around 5 to 12% suspicious clicks. And after that, we blocked around 30 website IDs that were sending bot traffic. And we managed to reduce that number to 1%. However, after a while, we still noticed there were some traffic, uh, fake traffic coming in and getting around 7% or sometimes 2 or 5% uh, of bot traffic. And we just kept um, blocking the website IDs that were sending this traffic and now we have less than 2% of bot traffic and in the case of today we have less than 1% of bot traffic. So as you can see the CTR is pretty average and it's actually the campaign is profitable but uh, we are not paying this for this traffic anymore and we are not sending those fake, fake clicks to our affiliate network either. So that's pretty good and that's Pretty much what you can do with the anti-fraud kit from volume so you can pay for real traffic and block the traffic that is not really worth it and also it won't screw up your stats when sending clicks to your traffic uh, uh, from your affiliate networks so i hope this little case study has helped you and if you like it just leave a comment below and we'll see you in the next one